Should we just like do the intro ourselves this time? Like, not even play it. Play the music? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's where's the fun of that? All right, all right, acapella. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, okay, well, this is back up. Audio sounds better. Okay, well, that's good. It's just the video quality might be shit. That's. <laughs> <laughs> who cares about the video quality um <laughs> at least sam's gonna be blurry because he has bad internet and i have bad internet so with our powers <laughs> combined uh, i'm pretty sure there's like a massive storm blowing in between us right now too probably yeah, all right well bad let's let's go ahead and hit the record button let's do this let's let's do this let's hitting the button go Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Maximum effort. In this war, there's no more surrender. He's not a lie, but he's right. Who the hell is Bucky? You don't like a fair fight. I think you're wrong. Which part? All of it. You think you're the only superhero in the world? Touche. All right, welcome to the technical, tech, technical, and verbiage battle. I cannot talk. Uh, welcome to the technologically challenged and obviously vocabulary and word challenge Rogue Agents podcast, <laughs> where we're here for all of your gaming needs. We got Sam, Joey, and Dizzard here. Stuff up. <laughs> and we just, the last 45 minutes been trying to get it figured out. So hopefully the video feed will be good for you guys. Um, come check us out every other Sunday on Twitch. 8.30 roughly EST. Um, yeah. So uh, we're here to talk about our road to Nova and what we've been doing to prepare for this big old convention and, and have some have some good conversations. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and start off with uh, Sam. What you drinking? What you plan? What are you doing actually? Um, and I, what are you? I, what are you? Um, what have you been up to? I'm finally inspired to play something that's not. Uh, Anakin and Obi Wan, and so I'm building models for Shatterpoint. You have one week. That's what I'm doing, <laughs> and then uh, I need to. Yeah, they have to be done like on on the on the fly. So we're hoping to get built and maybe a prime tonight. Um, and as for my brew, one second, please. Ooh. Prime content right here. Tonight's fare is a Friar Joe double. It's a Belgian style with coffee cherries. And Hunter mm -hmm. Coffee. That actually sounds pretty good. Local Riverbend Malt. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for this. Because I'm a man of class and distinction, I guess. <laughs> and so I wanted to share this incredibly fancy beer with you've been, the world. You've been holding on to it for us. Uh, awesome. Joey, what have you been doing, I had playing, to drink. drinking? Uh, still drinking water and coffee. That's about <laughs> it. Um... It's got to go to Rome. Yeah, been playing some MCP, handful of games. Had nice. a nice little uh, uh, event that I drove eight hours total to go to yesterday. <laughs> and, How many rounds uh, did you guys go? Uh, it was three rounds. Three rounds. Who did you play round yep. one? Like, like, what did you play round one? Oh, round one was a Wakanda. And, okay. Uh, New stuff? Was he running M'Baku? What's that? Was he running M'Baku? Yeah. He had the... Baku, Panther, Shuri, and Claw. All right. Uh, well, that was the squad. Spicy new stuff. What would you play round two? Round two was Brotherhood, which was pretty neat. Like the Haven't same old them jazz? In a while. Was it Mystique or Magneto? Mags. Nice. Yep. What was the shape of the crisis? That one was... It was Riot and uh, Scrolls. That was a... That was a pretty fun, fun matchup. Okay, yeah. Uh, his mothership sounds like it was really important in that match. Oh, uh, <laughs> it was. Unfortunately, uh, Mags kind of flopped. So, Oof. lucky me. 
<laughs> oh man, that's a <laughs> sick burn, Brotherhood guy. Who did you play round three though? What what happened uh, after that? I for, I forgot his name. It was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what was he playing? I bet you remember um, that. I think it's the lowest tier affiliation in the game, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, played Dizzard round three on the same table he got me on last time, naturally. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a good 15-minute uh, game. I think it t- didn't it take us longer to set the game up. <laughs> yeah, it took longer to set the game up than to actually play. <laughs> so I hear uh, these cable dice swing both ways. Like, we talk a lot no. about the cable dice. But, no, uh, not at all. It's not only for bad cable dice, it's also... No, it was good. It was funny. Uh, Iron Fist goes down turn one, and so does Doctor Strange, so that was pretty neat. Wow. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> the energy dice of all, of all things. <laughs> I What's funny? Had What's... A oh, go ahead. One shot. A Sorcerer Supreme Strange on a, uh, a book's turn. I was like... Uh. I feel like this, this, this will impossibility, <laughs> but fine, it just happened. <laughs> Prove them wrong. That's all. What's real funny though is I feel like if I go Hellfire Club in that game, I think you actually have like a game. Like it's not just over. <laughs> like, because like we were no, talking I, about I feel it. Like it was a game either way. It would have been a game either way. Well, I mean, like I, the dice, the dice wouldn't have happened because I would have had Emma and bill doing what bill did and then i probably would have been the one getting one shot not you I don't yeah think so. i think i actually think so i mean because that was like so, i'm just saying even in the game that we ran if if dice were normal I, it yeah. would have been a it would have been a, a hell of a game i feel like. no i i i, I do agree and i think that's why i went with the list uh with the x wars instead of hellfire club because we were talking about it beforehand and i was like i picked 16 and it was very much if I go Hellfire Club, this actually might be a mistake because then I'm like at 16, it's like Emma, uh, Bill, and then it's like what Rhino who has two Mystic Defense, Logan who has two Mystic Defense, and then Psylocke as an options because it's 16, so I go four fours. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm left to, right. or I could go what uh, four, four, three. Uh, would be what eleven, and then I have five points, so another three and a two, which probably would have been what I went with. So like wizard and domino and bullseye, which I guess is okay, but it's like I was like I wanted the pressure, and we were talking about like I gotta play X Force at least once today. Uh, <laughs> and uh, did you play but, Hellfire in both of your first games, sir? Yeah, yeah, it, it was the criteria, and I think. I think that's really what it came down to. I guess I guess we'll go into mine. Uh, drinking Sour Monkey. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I also went to a tournament. I also went to a tournament this weekend. That might be the weekend. best we've ever had. <laughs> uh, but I, I also went to a tournament this weekend, but I only drove an hour to get there and an hour back. So a total of two hours of drive. Um, I got a really, Dang, really cool. So you were defending the home territory. Kind of. I mean, let's. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've lost a tournament that I went to Battlegrounds at yet. I think I win. Wow. I've won every time, which makes me feel like a bully. That is, like, that is like, such a like, you just grudge that. I'm such a Chad. I'm such a Chad right now. <laughs> uh, and the Jocker but, podcast goes too. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick. I just I'm just thinking out loud, okay? Um, but I also got a really sick case um, from Joey. Um, created some hotel fees for it. Nice. <laughs> um and then uh which I got some stickers on it and it's already loaded up with all of my shatter point stuff and MCP stuff for Nova so it is ready to go. Um so, so you guys, were you guys playing super. your like your like your real rosters or were you playing your teams rosters? Both? Uh, I was playing singles, my singles roster. He's nice. doing the same roster for both, so All right. Like a win win. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about um, taking the webs out honestly, but I was like, nah, I'll, I'll hold off. Right. Webs probably would have given me issues, but we'll see. Now nah, I go Hellfire Club. Okay, uh, but so <laughs> <laughs> round round one, um, sit down. It's uh, a Malekith. It's like an Asgard Cabal list. Um, draw meteors and hammers, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, into Malekith. It's just and that like. 17 i was like this is just a hellfire club game because it's 17 
I don't really have the options that I want at 17 for X Force. So we drop sure. Hellfire Club, and it turns into Bill goes up, throws Malekith away. Emma goes, hits Malekith, gets the trigger to move him away. Rhino robberies Malekith and throw him away. So like Malekith made a total of like two attacks the entire game. Um, it was glorious. Uh, I felt like a bully. Um, and and then like their rhino is just trying to punch my rhino. Um, I, I don't. I didn't ask. Like was Ulig well, on this? Did he have Ulig? Ulig was yeah. Ulig had Ulig. Like they're so they're seventeen that they ran against me. Yeah. That was a uh, player. How dare you? It was. How dare it was. You, sir? <laughs> uh, afterwards, I felt like that very much, and I was like, "Oh my god, I feel terrible." That was a thematic. Um, like, yeah. So it was Malakith. You're a terrible person. <laughs> their their seventeen was Malakith, Ulik, Bucky, and Rocket. And okay. once they once they revealed that, I was like, "Okay, this is this is um going to be an interesting one." Happening. And like. Like, they could not roll anything into Rhino. Like, they'd roll, like, Ulic oh, dice, man. and, like, then I'd roll blocks, and then they'd do one damage, and then one damage, and then they'd throw, and I'd be like, okay, brace. Um, and then, like, Ulic's done. So Ulic did one damage to Rhino. Um, and then, <laughs> and then Malekith, <laughs> I just threw away the entire game. Bucky, I basically one shot with, um, Lizard. Oh, uh, yeah, and then, like, their rocket, I just <laughs> obliterated with Bill. Um, and, yeah, and then I just threw, threw Mal away, and Mal was a non-issue that game, and they couldn't do anything to get up. Like, going into round two, or going into round three, it was 11 to four. Um, or 11 to three. It might have been 11 to three. No, because like, first round, I scored all three meteors and two hammers. And then the second round, I scored three hammers and three meteors, and then so. How was your opponent's demeanor through the, all of this? They were pumped. Yeah, they were fine actually. Like they were. <laughs> That's like, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like they weren't. They weren't very down. And I was like, man, I was like I'm sorry. Your dice are like not pumping, and mine are, and like I'm blocking everything, yeah. and. Like even like they like they'd roll like six hits and then I'd roll like five blocks and then Rhino aggressive. Like what if I like, also what if what if I yeah. what if I <laughs> like, <laughs> like every time every time they'd have hot dice I'd have hot dice and I was like okay cool um this is why I say when it's your day your day it's your day and when it's not it's not absolutely you know like it, you just that is just the yeah way so it is. I basically what we're hearing is like well let's, let's go ahead and talk round two and then we'll get back to that uh round right. two um. Sat across the dude. He's he's like notorious for playing foes uh, at the shop there, and he's got like a bunch of like modded foes. He's got like the C twenty seven or whatever it is of the uh, venomized Hulk for Immortal Hulk, which is really okay. cool. He's got his own Vulture and Shocker and um, all these different Spider Foes characters that are just modded to be other characters. He's got a Prowler that's supposed to be like Shadowlands Daredevil, which is really cool. Um, so all these like all right. alternate models to represent stuff in the game. And we sit down, and again, hammers and, and you meteors. Were like, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with you playing those models. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you. No, to... I, I thought I was like, man, this I don't is so know what cool. you to withdraw for this game. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Just, those are. See, that's like, you're, that's like they were maybe cool. you're not a bully. I'm not a that bully. I like to have fun. Uh, but we draw hammers, meteors again. So I say, okay, seventeen and Hellfire Club again because same exact criteria. Um. And then it like it started out almost exactly the same as the first game went, where it was like I got all three meteors and I got two hammers, and it was looking like I was gonna get no. Then the round two, I got the six again, where I had all three and then three hammers again. And I was like, this game's just done. And then Immortal Hulk decided to say, I'm here to play. Um, and <laughs> like okay. I went from being eleven to four or eleven to five, whatever it is. Um. And, like, feeling like the game was just done. And so did he. He was like, all right, well, this might as well just be game. And then, like, all of a sudden, Hulk's like, okay, I killed Lizard, Rhino, and Emma in Hulk's activation. And then Bullseye also just happens Holy to die. Uh, so he killed everybody, kill, basically. Kill, kill, oh, well, no, no, Daze. He dazed him. Okay. And then he ends up scoring six. It puts him back in the game. So it's like, I think I was at, like, 13 to their nine. And then I couldn't do anything to Mortal Hulk 
So then all of a sudden it's like 1414. And I'm like, okay, cool. If I can go ahead and keep the meteors this round, he's only going to have keen pin. Like if I go, I need to do like one damage or there's like two damage to Rhino and Bullseye was sitting on like eight power so I could double pin cushion him. Um, so I was like, this is probably fine. Um, so sure enough, I kill Rhino. He drops hammers. Bullseye picks it up and runs away. He goes with keen pin to flip point and do something else. Uh, which I can't remember because he was staggered, if I remember correctly. Um, and he wasn't staggered. He was something else. Something had No, he was staggered because he had cruel tutelage, and he rolled a crap ton of skulls, so he staggered himself. Um, <laughs> and then and then, uh, and then, then I'm like, hey, he hasn't gone with Hulk yet. If I go and leave Bill for last, Bill can double flip my meteors. And then what I could also do is have Bullseye over here as far back as possible. So I'm like, cool, if Emma can go up here and get the trigger to push hulk back farther then he's left to a throw to kill bullseye and if i roll one block i just win the game so sure enough i do that i get the trigger shove hulk back some and then um <laughs> hulk gets up moves moves he sees the plan he's like cool my only way to win is to throw the size four at bullseye and he doesn't roll a single dodge and then you have to flip two meteors if you flip only one meteor at a tie and we go into another round where I have Hulk, Kingpin, and Rhino with robbery still online, and I had Bill, Emma, and Bullseye. So it was very much in his favor if I failed one of the flips. Um, but I'm like, I have two outs here. Either Bullseye. So he goes and he throws the building at Bullseye. Bullseye does. He's like, let's do this the fun way. Roll one die at a time. I was like, you know what? I'm for it. Um, and I rolled one die. Blank. Rolled the next die. Blank. Roll the next die. Blank. <laughs> and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, <laughs> uh, So Bullseye died. Dropped all the hammers. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess it's up to Bill. Bill moves. I throw Kingpin away. So that way I just like, I was like, if I happen to fail this and I throw Kingpin away, it's going to make it easier for my next round. So sure. Bill throws Kingpin, clips the point, moves, flips the point, like just handily. And I'm like, okay, well, there we go. That's game. Um, really good game, though. Ended up being 18 to 17 at the end. Really good opponent, really good player. Um, had some misplays on my part as far as like remembering certain rules, which I'm really glad I went to this to help oh. myself get back on game. Like what? Um, that's where actually kind of embarrassing. Where, where did your rust knock off from? Uh, Kingpin's <laughs> leadership, actually. Uh, and this is what? slightly... <laughs> yeah, so... So, it, like... I went to go roll against Hulk on Meteors, and I went to roll, and the opponent said... Hulk counts as two because of Kingpin's leadership. I was like, that's not how that works. And he's like, yeah, it does. Here, read the card. And I read the card, and I was like, ah, oh, I guess I could see that working that way. You know, you play Kingpin, I'll believe it. Um, and then afterwards, I checked the forms, and I was like, oh, that's not how that works. Um, so there was that. And then there was that one point where I had so you hit handicapped yourself. Yeah, I handicapped yeah. myself. I also handicapped okay. myself another way, too, right, by... Check. <laughs> so the the other way was um i had emma and she did her spender on um the her normal side and i hit the trigger and i was like okay she's gonna throw yeah, a hulk you need a trigger for that don't you yeah, yeah. and i was like i hit the trigger uh -huh. i'm gonna throw a hulk and he's like i could have sworn he said hulk was size five and i was like oh i haven't played against a mortal hulk since he came out so i don't remember i'm just gonna believe it um or go with what i heard so then the rest of the game i'm playing like hulk is size five and never throwing him with bill and basically missing out on like half of the control that i have in the game um so more moral of the story is if you're unsure about yeah <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I, I believe the size five thing was me just mishearing him because I didn't have my hearing aid in, um, which is completely sure. fair. Um, and I'm going to go with that. Um, but the keen pin thing, that was definitely like I should have checked the forms when it's a questionable thing because that basically made it impossible for me to flip that middle point the entire game while Hulk was standing there. Um, and that, that one's completely like, man. And then, uh, yeah, then I get Joey and I'm like, just I don't care. I, don't, I just don't want to play meteors and hammers again. And he's like, well, we're going to do your secures. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh, then we drew Infinity <laughs> and uh, Paranoia. And I was very much oh, man, like looking really at the list. Built it up. 
You built well, it I, I was hoping. I was like, oh man, here it well, comes, here it comes again. <laughs> well, it was uh, Infinity and Paranoia, and um, he's playing Sons, and I'm just like, Hellfire Club seems like, a, like I was like, I was like, I'm gonna go 16 because in my head, 17 is like when I when I played Midnight Suns, 17 was like something I yeah. loved. I loved when people gave me 17, um, and so I was like, I'm gonna go 16. Without even thinking about it. And then I started looking at Hellfire Club because I was like, Paranoia and Infinity is 8+. plus. That's like instant criteria for me to consider Hellfire Club. And I started looking at it. And I'm like, I should actually go X-Force here because I'm going to be super Mystic Week. And he's just going to walk through a lot of these characters. Um, so then I went X-Force. I dropped Cable, Bill, Psylocke, and Domino. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he had on the table, he had, uh, what was it? You had Strange, oh, Voodoo, yeah. uh, Bill, and uh, and Blade. And I, we're about to set up, and I look at it, and I'm like, that's 17 points you got there, buddy. And he's just like, oh, man, I just defaulted. <laughs> um, so, so then he swapped Voodoo for uh, Fist. And then he goes yeah. up. He goes up with his bill, grabs the paranoia. I match his bill with my bill on the paranoia infinity, and they're both just eyes on the prize, doing the same thing. I'm like, cool, we got a bill standoff that wh whoever gets to go first with their bill is going to be the one that makes a mistake. Um, <laughs> and then on the other side, he goes and Blade's he grabs, first. grabs no, uh, no, Blade was last. He went with Fist first. Yeah. Uh, he went Fist, yeah. went up, bumped back, and I was like, cool, I go with Cable, and. Cable just PPU PPU and he rolled like I was like six successes on the first shot. It yeah. was something stupid. Um, and then I was like, oh okay, and then rolled like another five successes on the second shot to <laughs> kill Fist. And I was like, well, this is the best Cable's been for an, on a hot minute for me. Uh, so then he goes up with Strange next and recovers the paranoia that um, Fist dropped and. Arguably, he should have been fine, but then Domino decides to go beep, bop, boop, and damn near kill him by herself. And then Psylocke finishes the job later. Um, so, like, taking out, like, Strange and Fist round one is just, yep. I, I would say that's tilting. Um, and then... <laughs> How is your opponent's attitude this game? Very, very unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Joey needed a beer. Um, no, um... We were talking about it though. It was like it was like, man, that's this this. We were both like, this should not be a thing right now. But let's let's move on. Um, and then like it, like he, I just like I just completely shifted into the just. Well, I'm gonna just lean harder into this dice oh, I got yeah. going on for me. It was a snowball. And, <laughs> and, Domino, that the one time Domino she shot, it gets her the one first shot of the rapid fire five successes second mm -hmm. shot of the rapid fire four five another oh, was five yeah yeah four, four. with the rapid fire it was like five six success. and five consequently mm -hmm. I was like, jesus dude oh man and, and then um like strange too so that got it in and then on oh, top man. of this on top of this tilt he goes and he sets up the sacrifice play cable shoots iron fist who's on one health he and then and and he completely spaces on it and i'm like oh no joey um and so and then so cable cable kills um um fist and then he like shoots strange and then like throws a size four at him and yeah, like then strange the, is, uh, the and then, and then yeah, strange is just the uh, strange <laughs> and then strange is just like i fall over as well um like cable took out fist and strange and it just mm -hmm. rolled and then I'm just like, well, I'm just going to advance. He just completely shifted everything to the other side of the table with all his mobility. And then he dazes Psylocke. I pop Crimson Dawn. And then at, at that point, it's like whatever he does, it's just game at that point because there's so many points going on and I've killed too much. Um, moral of the story of that one is dice be dice, bro. <laughs> like, I don't, I, like, I honestly, I felt bad about that one because it's like, trying to and this kind of goes into like the main topic of the episode of like road to nova what you're trying to do to like prepare for these tournaments and like you want to get one more event in before uh going to this nova and so it's like mm -hmm. what i dislike about that game is it, in my opinion it's not a real test of 
the the list because like Dice won that game. I will one hundred percent say that. Um, <laughs> Not Dice like, play testing was like the worst possible outcome. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm so. It's like I have. No, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. So then it's like I very the much. Only time I ever want that is like like when you're sorry when you're ready. You're fine. Like when you're yeah. like all right when your roster is literally telling you like hey no no bro like you've got this like that's what that's what that kind of means I think. Damn right, the dice one. Well, uh, to be fair, I've been, <laughs> I have been back and forth on like, so I have been playing Hellforce since Emma and Psylocke were spoiled. So it's been five months now. Um, so yeah. I'm basically at the same this playtime is- I was for Malekith last year, uh, <laughs> but not nearly as many games. <laughs> um, and I have been oh, like buddy. so torn. I have been so torn, and like Joey and Sam and Omnis in the chat now can completely attest. Like I have been so torn and so back and forth. Like there has to be something wrong with this list. It has not changed hardly at all in five months. Like what is I mean, going you on? You've changed it like five times this week. <laughs> not really, <laughs> like, because okay, so so oh no no no. When I <laughs> when I look at this list and where it's at. The only character difference yeah. between now and five months ago is Red School for Rhino. Yeah. Everything else sure. is exactly the same as it yeah, was. I was I was surprised he wasn't in the in the roster. Yeah. Um, Are you on but, Lizard now or not? Yeah, I'm on, oh Lizard now too. Yeah, Lizard's Lizard's new too. Yeah. So I, there, there's two character difference, same crises that there was five months ago, and basically the same crisis uh, tactics cards except for robbery. Uh, when I had get some air before, yeah. so literally basically the same list for almost five months minus very few slots. You kind of get to a point where it's like, is this really, like, it's like when you're playing X Force, it's very much like, is this really like okay? Like, <laughs> there's got to be something wrong here. Um, <laughs> but like when I'm looking at like Road to Nova, what I've been preparing for is like I have been talking with Omnis and a bunch of people on his channel and um, Nigel, who's known for cable plays and stuff like that. And a bunch of other people throughout various discords include Sam and Joey here about like, what should I be doing? Like, should I just keep playing Hellforce? Ultimately, I just said, like decided, you know what? We're just going to stick with Hellforce. We're going to see what we can get with it. Cable's my boy. Um, we had Tropical Storm almost Cable going on. <laughs> yep, we had, almost we had, we had the tropical storm cable and that was really fun, but like, it just didn't feel right. It, it really didn't. So I dropped that Sorry, for you're back to the only course. person who wanted you to be playing that. Like, What's that? Literally you were the only person who, who was like pushing that. No, on this, on this, was on this like, and Nigel. Like, from Springer. <laughs> no, but like, well, on, like between Joey and I, like, you'd be like, Oh, I think I'm about playing this. But like, really? Just like, come on, follow your heart. Do follow my, heart. My, my heart, my heart says Hellforce. So that's where I'm at. Gonna be playing Hellforce, um, but like in. when you're looking, I can send it. Like. <laughs> but like when we're we're well, it's it's painted, it's in the case. I'm not taking it back out um, because if I switch back to top of the Scrum cable, official. I got like two more. The case is official. Um, but yeah, so like we we look at like what Except you're doing to prepare mother, for a department. tournament. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed with that right now. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, I, that might be a good point though. It's something right, to talk we'll about. We'll, we'll get, get to it. it. But for MCP, yeah. I've been playing games, and to be completely honest, um, like everybody knows that Sam and I hit like a very big rut in MCP, and I'm, I'm uh, psyched for Nova though. For yeah, no, like, like, but I, I will say, reasons. like, for the past, I don't know, two to three weeks, I've been really happy with MCP. I've been very, like, feeling good about it actually and i'm really excited for nova i've enjoyed every single game of marvel crisis protocol i've played with cosmic ghost rider on the table under my control 100 percent <laughs> of those games have been enjoyed by me that's, that's good um <laughs> it's okay we'll get paired round two again and um we'll see what happens <laughs> oh no <sighs> i hope not um at least you won't lose the webs in the finals again unless it's joey <laughs> i mean we'll see well, that's the team roster, so we're good. Yeah, don't count me out. Um, but yeah, roster. so like, what have, what about you guys? What have you been doing to prepare for Nova? I've been talking for far too long. Um, what what have you guys been doing for Nova prep? I went to Nashcon and played a day a, a different game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I can't I'm tell you. I got I got so many messages. Game. I got messages that said, "What's wrong with Sam? Is Sam okay?" <laughs> Like I was like, like Sam's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 
Yeah, I had some some pretty choice conversations with Gronko. Uh, good times. I got a couple of visits. I didn't get to spend anywhere near as much time with the people that I have grown accustomed to spending my Nashcon around. But uh, I had a really good time there. And now I have to get ready for Nova. And I've had my MCP roster dialed in for a long time. And it's like, I would not say that I've been grinding prep games with it. But uh, at the same time, like, it's nothing that anyone actually wants to play against. And so I'm okay <laughs> with not grinding test games with it. Yeah, you don't want to force that one. I think it largely, like, plays and builds itself. Like, I'm going to keep it secret until Nova. Not because of any, like, reasons other than, like, I literally don't want people to play this. <laughs> but, like, I'm pretty sure you could build it with your eyes closed thinking about this game. What, Malekith, Red School, and uh, Ghost Rider? And Thanos? <laughs> Cause, I don't know what you're talking um, about. Because like, Ben, ben yeah. has a list that is Malekith, Ghost Rider... Red School and Thanos. Yeah. And I played against yeah. somebody else who was playing that list. And it's just like how it's terrible, evil it's how thing. evil are you? Um like it's you a are terrible thing. You are embodying the essence of all the major bad characters you have in your list. Uh so I'm excited <laughs> to see uh Sam embrace his inner red school. Um uh, he sees the table the least. That's fair. For what that's worth especially now that i have cosmic ghost rider that's fair he's there for the psychological factor yeah i mean i know what i play in this thing and it's exactly what you think it is <laughs> <laughs> deception is not fixed by being restricted and 100 percent. that's about all i'm comfortable admitting <laughs> that's fair so that, and then, like, honestly, like, my focus has kind of been, like, on Shatterpoint. Like, not to denigrate the MCP experience, but, like, I have to build stuff. Like, I I, I had to decide if I was going to do uh, one set of strike teams or another, and I have opted to completely change everything instead. <laughs> <laughs> so, hence the project that I'm working on tonight. But uh, that's what I've been doing to prep for Nova. I'm going to bring a bunch of, like, half-assed models. <laughs> <laughs> and my Crisis Protocol stuff has been done for years. Yeah. Uh, Joey, what about you? What have you been working on? And cause I know for a while, like, for the past, I don't know, three or so months, you're like, man, I just went to a local, crushed it with webs, crushed it with Midnight Suns, crushed it with so-and-so. It's like basically everything you're playing, you're, like, been super crushing your locals with and being a bully yourself. Yeah, trying to trying to follow in your footsteps, man. Uh, I did. Uh, I've been trying to get as many games. Um, I got a, luckily uh, one of like two people that in my area. He's he's down to get games in because he knows I'm going to Nova. So as repetitive as that is, he's you know throws different rosters at me and we get after it. But aside from that, he just went on vacation, so I, I wasn't able to get any more games in with him. Shout out to Carlos. But um, yeah, so we did the. One the event yesterday, and then I think it was the week before that I actually played another local, and did uh, I ran the Suns with that and went I, I took that one it was pretty good, um, played a pretty good variety with that too it was A Force, um, the second one was, in what was the A Force like, build out, because like I feel like A Force is something that is, especially with the uh, assuming new Carol is A Force. I think there's some interesting space to explore there. I honestly, I've been after Nova. I'm really toying around with it. I want to do Wakanda A Force, so we'll, we'll okay. see. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I feel but, like uh, Wakanda A Force, Shield A Force. There might be A Force seems stuff super there. cool. The 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 list I I fought or the squad anyways I fought was She Hulk, Angela, Okoye, and oh damn yeah, so She Hulk. Angela Okoye, Spider Woman, and Black Cat. So that was a twenty point, twenty threat Whack game. <laughs> Whack Force. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It was your in sacrifice. I love, what? I love Okoye and sacrifice in the same place. Uh, I don't believe especially in A Force sacrifice. Oh man, 
Well, there we go. Here's your hot tip for the night, everybody. Content. Uh, sacrifice running Sacrifice cool. and Okoye is super fun because you can turn on your Okoye with the Sacrifice play. And if it's being <laughs> run in uh, A-Force, you can give it extra power to somebody else. Like maybe she Hulk. Yeah, Sacrifice is I'm, great. I slept on Sacrifice for a long time. I'll admit it, but I love it. It's hilarious. If you, if you can, like, get her in a position to take two damage after <laughs> Sacrifice, <laughs> too, then she's like, oh, no, then I'm just, like, right here to Bodyguard. It's awesome. Surprise. Hello. But, yeah, that's, like, I've been trying to hit locals. There, there, there's not a ton of local events these days for me. It's, it's, i got to drive four hours sometimes, you know, to go to an event. But I do it. Well, I do what I can to get the games in. Um, I, I'm the same way with my roster, though. My son's roster, I, I think the only thing I've changed was, like, two weeks ago, and it was only a tactics card. So yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the list. I just need to make sure I'm paying attention and pilot it right. And, um, Omnis uh, says... Up. Walk force? Question mark. Um, I wrote it as whack force. Whack force. Whack force is way cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but no, it's. It, I think it's super interesting. And like the thing about Joey, Joey's always like, I will only play painted. So he's been painted with his list for a hot minute. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, he has it. Yeah. That's something that I've been struggling to do. And like, like man, I gotta paint. That's so why I, I crush my painting goals, except for. Sam alluded to it earlier where I haven't been able to get my hands on mother yet because my local store didn't get her in. Um, my hope was to have her assembled and painted by now, but I don't even have the box yet because my local store doesn't have her. And so I'm just kind of waiting on that one. Um, hopefully they can get her before Nova. Uh, if not, there's another store that has her, but I was, you know, we'll see. Um, three days away. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I might just be taking today. I mean, to be fair, I, I'm probably bringing paint anyways because I'm probably going to pick up Cad at Nova if he's there. Um, ask Devin. I, I probably should ask Devin if he... No, I don't think he has one. Um, but I'll ask him if he can bring one for me and I'll just pick it up off of him. Um, and then just bring my red, black, and white because that's all you need for Night Sisters. Uh, <laughs> I told you Maybe. I got mine. I got mine brand new in the box. It sounds like Dizzard has abandoned the Death of Marians. It should be banned from playing... No, the... Death of Mirians abandoned me. I can't get them. <laughs> um, I got a brand new box right behind me. I mean, if, if you want to bring it, then I'll just assemble it and paint it for you so I can use it. <laughs> I had a glorious game store moment today. Uh, I was doing a lap around town to uh, try and find a mace box. And uh, <laughs> while I know that I could just like call ahead for things like this, it's way more fun to just like go out on an adventure instead. Yeah, you never know what you get. So do. I went to like my favorite and it's like do you have this and he's like nope it's like well all right and then we moved on and i went to a place where i thought that i thought would have it and they got like three vader sets they got like all the grievous and dooku you could ever want got luminara like none of this is what i'm looking for and then i'm like what is this box that's i noticed a couple boxes that are like upside down and backwards <laughs> underneath one of the vader sets and i was like what's this one and i was like oh nope that's just another luminara box and i almost just walked away like the the concealment technique almost worked because you know this was somebody doing like like poor man's layaway that's where right. it's like i i can't actually ask the store to hold this stash i just somewhere. really hope that somebody doesn't find this mace wind oh i found the mace windu box <laughs> so i went from like the bottom of the valley to the top of the mountain in moments so I'm really excited I, about that. I was, because um, I, I regrettably don't actually own Colossus and Magic yet. Um, so I was going to use the Saturday game store credit for them, but the store actually didn't have Colossus and Magic. And I'm like, how does the store not have Colossus and Magic? Like, who who is playing Colossus and Magic? That's why I was like, who's playing Colossus and Magic that the store would actually be sold out? Like... Oh, uh, oh! Don't forget that we are also kind of talking time. about the uh, the Indomitable expansion pack there. That's true. So there's that. That's what happened to their copies. They just didn't <laughs> order new ones after that. Okay, I have verification. Devin has 
mother and he has a high ground set for me so i'll be getting mother and high ground off of that <laughs> um take that finally the high finally, ground set this would make almost happy uh <laughs> All right. but yeah uh but now i have to make sure i bring reds and blacks and whites and greens and a small paint set to nova and one of these days i'm just gonna have to paint um mother in my hotel room nice what are thursdays for what are thursdays for thursdays Thursdays are for the boys okay so that's that's something that is um is something where we we should discuss is like uh victoria was actually asking me today she's like have you guys made any plans for food and like what you're gonna do like when you're not playing games and i'm like you know Whoa, we kind of did. Whoa, we didn't do that. Whoa, we didn't do that last year. We whoa. just kind of did it on the fly. Like I don't like. We're men. We don't. We plan. only made one mistake last year. That the first night. And it was a group. It was a group fail. We're like Irish pub. Hey, closest Irish pub. And we walked there, and it's like we just like walked from like our hotel bar to the hotel bar across the street. <laughs> it like, was not an Irish. That pub. was a fail. <laughs> a thousand feet away, there was an actual Irish pub. Like just yeah. a little bit more. Google Maps foo. You know, like everything would have been fine. <sighs> Red Dead wasn't there that night, to be fair. Like that was travel day. Red Dead hadn't shown up yet. Red Dad, who abandons his children to go and play <laughs> events. Uh, everybody needs a vacation, right? Yeah, I'm still waiting. I'm on. <laughs> I'm bringing like, a bunch of food, too. We did good. After that, though, I think we did pretty good for food because we started talking to people, which I think is huge, right? Like, yeah. let's give them melatonin. This is like the other side of tournament prep, right? So, like, we don't actually need to like make plans. We just need to plan on talking to people to find out what's good and where it's at. There you go. Yeah, talk to the people who are locals. Like, mm-hmm. when we talked to uh, Devin, where I was like, "Hey, where should we go for lunch?" And he's like, "Go to the shawarma place." Sam and I were like, this place is amazing. Like, he's like, I go here every single year. It's so good. It was great. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing that stood out about this place was, like, he was eating it at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning or something. And it's like, how long have you had that? Where has it been? Like, what's been going on with this bowl that you're eating from? <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's from this, this place, like, right around the corner. And I have this all day. Have like, I just... bad in it. So, like, you can literally just, like, let it sit out and eat it. I was like, He's lawless though, man. He he walked down he walked down in front of the hotel with just a random ass pint of Ben and Jerry's too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He didn't have a spoon, so he just ate it out of the jar or the the thing. So. It was all melty too, so he just drank it. That's what it was. <laughs> life. That's life. That's uh, life. We need to we need to get him back on here again after Nova. Like he's been asking to come back on, so we'll we'll get him back on oh, here to talk hobby I have, again. I have so many poorly painted models that could use the drill sergeant treatment. So uh, uh, love them. I'm here for it. Good times. It's good good character. Uh, somebody in his Discord was uh saying i'll be there i uh, can't wait to hang out with you and devin's like i'll be i'll be there all week just come find me and i'm like you might have to tether him in order to like hold a conversation <laughs> and he's like a bungee cord works better i'm like that sounds disastrous for the person on the other end of the bungee cord <laughs> good luck keeping up uh good times uh yeah i guess like if anybody's taking a cutthroat cure class uh good on you like he's a great teacher and can't wait to hang out with people uh we'll be at nova Basically from Thursday till Monday morning. Um, Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday night. I, I'll probably get there midday. I want an actual parking spot instead of being screwed over again. <laughs> I'm gonna get what I get. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna be, but uh, <laughs> Omna says Dev needs some bells. He said fucking bells. <laughs> Devin needs some bells. We should get him like uh, some jingle bells to strap on his belt or something like that. <laughs> More cowbell. Oh, uh, man. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to hit on for Nova Prep or anything in general you want to talk about? Be comfortable with what you're playing, right? So whether that's like trying to jam your last little games out for final tweaks at a local event beforehand or uh, just taking it easy. I don't know. Like, this is the first time in a long time that I've been playing like multiple games. 
because I've been playing like basically just Crisis Protocol for a while. And uh, it's kind of weird getting ready for multiple games. Yeah, I've been Not doing the same does that. with the God tier just in case for Sunday. Um, right. right. It had, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty like tunnel vision when it comes to that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Same. MCP, you know, you got the MCP events. That's all I'm, all I'm playing. Um, but like we said before, it's, you know, it's a nice change of pace. Just playing something else for once. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, with also too, I feel like with local events and this was a, a good example of this last one that we went to is picking up and paying attention to like the dumb stuff that you miss. Cause there was a couple of instances and I was like, dude, what, why do I even do that? Or <laughs> there, there, there's just a bunch of random stuff or interactions or yeah. any, any kind of little aha things. It's just like, damn it, man. You can always but, sharpen up. Yeah, there's always, absolutely. always something like our, our game. I did. I didn't even think about cause we had, uh, when we played riots. Uh, uh no, it's, it was infinity and paranoia. Infinity. Yeah. The whole, uh, free, the free move. And then, she, you know, Psylocke gets a power. Oh, yeah, Kat, the power if anybody, if anybody did not know, cat and mouse is a deployment based <laughs> card. And this is one of the coolest yeah. things X force has going for it is cat and mouse on infinity because you get an extra power from infinity due to cat and mouse. Um, it, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's honestly crazy because I saw somebody talking about this other day in the X Force uh, Discord. They're like, you know that if you cat and mouse on Infinity, you get an extra power. And in my head, I'm just like, I've been doing this for years now. And then the next thing that came up was, did you know that if you no matter the cost with X23, you have round one pressure? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> like in my head, I'm just like, how how is this like new knowledge to people? And then. It kind of puts stuff into perspective for you because there was also um, a guy at the game store yesterday where he was like, hey, I'm looking at doing uh, Weapon X and X Force. And, um, like, do you have any recommendations? I'm like, you should have no matter the cost. Get off my turf. <laughs> I, was, I was like, you should have, he didn't have no matter the cost in his list. And I said, you should absolutely be taking no matter the cost. Like, like to me, no matter the cost is stapled to X Force slash anything that's like Weapon like those X, pro- like like Weapon X project. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just so good with those characters. And he's like, what, why is that? And I explained it to him and how it works with 23 and Logan and Apex and all those characters. And he's just like, oh, my God. Like, that's that's insane. And in my head, I'm just like, how 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 do you not hear about this? Because I guess, like, like we so as... said you have plus three power this turn. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, but, like, I think it's something that's super interesting is... We, we very much get into, like, this world of, like, TTS and content creators or just, like, super competitively minded people like Joey because um, he's, like, new to the content creation game. You don't really play on TTS, so you weren't, like, involved in these metas, mm-hmm. but you're also a very competitive player, so you knew about these some, like, most of these tricks. Um, and then you right. find somebody who's, like, arguably, like, fairly new to the game or never looked at an X-Force or Weapon X type of character, and they don't know about these little combos. And it kind of just puts it into a certain like perspective of like being that um, I guess uh, knowledgeable person and not being a dick about passing on knowledge and being like, yeah, man, like if you look at it this way and like you try this out, try this out. And I think that's something that I see too little across all the um, MCP discords for handing out knowledge. A lot of it is very dismissive. It's very um, like, how did you not know this type of attitude? Um, or very dismissive, like, hey, what should I be trying X in X Force? And it's like, why would you even use that? And like, very rude to be completely honest. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I was just like, like, why do, why are we like this? And I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday. That's, a, that's the pendulum. Go ahead. It, it, oh, it is. Like, like the person comes down, and is like, oh, what are you here for? I'm only here for Marvel. They're like, oh, I'm here 40k, painting some stuff. And we got into a conversation about how, like, our like, gaming communities are so small and it's almost like everybody says the other community is toxic and hates each other for no reason. And it's like, why, why is this even a thing? <laughs> like, well, I don't understand it. I was talking with 40 K guys after the, uh, Nova last year. Like they, they're pretty, it's like the two guys that I talked to for a while were pretty normal people. Sorry. I just, I just caught up on the Twitch chat. Um, 
Omna says, why does Psylocke behind Dizzard look like she's staring at me and Deadpool looks he wants to kill Sam? And then uh, <laughs> Victoria says, oh my god. She's like, I'm gonna get you. And then Omna says, I feel like she is judging me for something but won't tell me about what. <laughs> but yeah, she knows your darkest secrets. I know what you did last summer. Uh, I mean, she literally man. she literally does, though, right? So, Yeah, that's true. Like telekinetic, you know? It's a thing. Well, is there anything else that you guys want to comment on before we sign off here? Any closing thoughts? I think that's it for me. The road to Nova approaches. The road to Nova. Yeah. We got you're there. one, two, three, four, four days till we leave. So, thereabouts. Yeah. I'm excited. We're going to have a good time. Come find us at Nova. Come hang out with us. We're going to have a good time. Probably find another hotel irish pub and be disappointed by it um hopefully not um no, that's not happening this year if anybody knows if yep. anybody knows who is running the shatterpoint nova event please let me know uh like i have been trying to figure out who this person is uh, because we're trying to figure out is it a standard event is it premiere event can i play padawan ahsoka if i want to can i play cat and padme if i can get them um we, we, we just don't know and would like to know and um yeah Dizzard has questions i have questions and i'm not prepared to play premiere so <laughs> <laughs> uh omna says sam does not get to pick the bar um okay that's that's fine <laughs> victoria says they are the bar um I, that's that's the secret to conventions is going to a gas station and getting your alcohol before you get there yeah i i, I, I was two and one at, at Nova last year, to be fair, you lost the first night. That was you lost to what? Are you are you punting this year? What's what's your punt? Stop. What's your punt? What's Dude. your punt, Sam? My um probably shield, right? Because like Ooh, I'm, that's I'm a bad like beat that's a in the bad face. punt though. You're a bad punt. That's fair. <laughs> Boom, roasted. I can Zoe play against shield. Smart. I just can't do the game that I want to. That's fair. I have... You just go complete control. You just go control and. Don't kill as much. Yeah, it's just boring. Yeah, it's just boring. Gas station is the heaven of con nights. Sucks all the fun out of the room. You're not wrong. All right, with that, we have been the rogue agents, and you have been the listener. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Adios, later. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. Maximum effort. In this world, there's no one surrender. He's out of line, but he's right. Who the hell is Bucky? I think you're wrong. Which part? All of it. Think you're the only superhero in the world? Touche. Touche. All right. All right, that's over. Twitch is still running right now. Uh, that was good. I liked it. It's fun. Twitch is still running though. Just so everybody's knowledge. Um, yeah. We're just chatting. Yeah, I, I actually just it was chatting. fun. And really nice <clears> job. <throat> I'm, I'm excited for Nova, man. Like, I'm excited. Me too. Me too. I wish like it's been a long time coming. It really has. Like it's been a year. It's been a year, man. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's factually been a year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for handing out, Joey. We're gonna get going and record the Star Wars podcast now. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Good All luck, right. boys. Have fun. All right. Let me know if you need Later. anything. Yeah, definitely, man. All right, I'll catch you. Uh, later.